What's up guys, it's your boy the Drug Native PD here, here with uh, Europe Universalis 4. And I gotta say, I don't fucking know what I'm doing, but I like, I like how this game looks, it's quite nice. But uh, one thing I will say already, that I won't make a Siri series out of this game, or any game that's like this, so basically uh, Stellaris or uh hard to find four so basically the games that are like it that i own Bec well stellaris maybe but because there's so much to do it's basically like uh terraria obviously different genres but they're alike because the both games give you a lot of freedom so what I'll propose instead of a series is that I'll live stream it just like how I proposed to live stream Terraria so if y'all want that then we can do that we could we could live stream Euro Universalis once I could do a community post because I can make them now and do a poll on what game you want me to stream and to that list I'll add Universalis because I think this is a very nice game to live stream and then make multiple streams of it when continuing and I've seen uh, Soviet Womble do that sort of thing but with RimWorld and that was actually good so you know we'll see I'll, I'll probably live stream this game but I won't make a series out of it, so please don't ask. But yeah, I just wanted to show you all this game. So we're England, and this is still in like the beginning of the game that I started. And I see that I got a alliance offering from Ulster. I mean, hey, we, c we can use everyone, you know? Alliance offer from Ty Tyrone. <laughs> Fucking Tyrone. Uh, fucking Tyrone. Uh, what's this? Future rival. Who are my enemies? The Ottomans. What's this? Denmark. So let's just add Denmark. Sure, Boomer. Uh, let's add Ottomans to this list. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And let's add what's this? Scotland. To this uh, nice little humble list that we got going. So now we got the rifle as well. Looming disaster. What's the looming disaster? War of the Roses. One of the following must be true. Currently in a disaster. Of the well, we don't want more national unrest, but how do I reduce it? Because they're telling me uh, about unrest and that sort of shit, but meanwhile they don't show how to solve it maybe it's me because i just have to, i only have like what two hours on this game so maybe it's just me being a big retard but you know i'm not really seeing what i sh what or how i could fix this little problem of theirs of them so uh oh why is it on pause bro uh looming disaster least one major disaster is about to happen to your nation. War of the Roses. The monthly progress is due to rolling dynasty is not York. Plus 50. Stability less than 1. Yeah, we need some more stability. Ruler has lower administrative skill than 2. So, okay. At this rate, War of the Roses will start on the 1st of January, 1448. Oh, and this is... Okay, but how do I stop that? Because, you know, they're telling me all this stuff. There's so much info on the screen. Which kind of makes me crazy a bit. That's, that's what I don't really like about games like Arch 5 4 and uh, Celeris. Now, I get that you need the info. But... Uh, you, you, I hope you understand what I mean. 
Um, so yeah, let's just f see what we can do to stop the war of roses. Uh, what's this? My king. We have gained the hum humiliate rival cases belly against Denmark, Ottoman, Scotland. We can humiliate or humiliate Ottoman. Um, I don't know. I am searching how to fix it, but there's not much going on. Offer our lines. Yes, sir. Ah, yes, very epic influence. Uh, relations. Royal marriage. We have currently sent a diplomat, so we cannot send another one till the 3rd of February. Okay, let's speed up the time a bit then. Let's hope we don't get cucked. Um, I declare her my new heir. People rejoice when they heard the news. The young princess has been born. They have celebrated for days and nights, but you have not named your young daughter the new heir yet. You know what? <coughs> the succession is safe. Okay. From Portugal. Our legitimacy will change by... Minus five when signing the deal due to their inferior prestige and legitimacy. Having one royal marriage will have following effects in England. You know what? That's good, man. They tell us about the kind of successor of... I don't... I can't pronounce that. Uh, hold up. There's so much going on. What's this? Lollards were heretical group following the theological teaching of John Wycliffe. Popular protests against wealth, power and pride of the clergy were frequent and in times of disorder would express themselves in an extreme form. They had been prosecuted several times during the 14th century, century sorry, and their last appearance was in the early 15th. Um, Stopped heretics, but what happens when I do this? Clamorgan gets Lollards until 1 March, the 1st of March, 1465, giving the following effects. Local unrest plus 20, bruh. Lancashire, local unrest. And if I do this, tolerance of heretics. Cath Catholicism gains. Catholicism, I don't know how you pronounce that, uh, gain 5%, reform desire, England gets tolerates Lollards until the end of the game, giving the following effects, uh, tolerance of heretics, plus one, the papal state's opinion of England changed by minus 50, friends opinion, you know, i rather not have for that, i rather have uh, friends, have a, you know, Good father for me, so stop her heretics. So now we'll have provincial unrest. Uh, handle them. That's what's this? So England gets tolerated until the 7th of March. Oh, okay. Giving the following effects tolerate of heretics, okay will be removed from England, lose 100 papal influence, lose 50 prestige. Why though? And what if I don't? Mm, do we do this or do we not? I don't fucking know. For your marriage. Yes. What country? Oh, Tyrone. <laughs> Big man Tyrone comes in with the gamer move. <laughs> uh, from Ulster. 
I mean, Sherman. And look, can I boost stability? Oh, I need 54, but I already have that. Oh, you need 100. Ah, I see, I see. How long is this gonna last? An army of 10k rebels will fight against us. 10k rebels. Um, how much soldiers do we have? Like, what? 28k? I'm sorry, man, but... Shut up. <laughs> uh, let's see. Port. Kaiser now. We don't really need one yet. Good relations going on. That's that's kind of epic. Oh, hold up. What's this? Temples, marketplace, Pike Square. Uh, you know, we'll we'll buy that later. Uh, unlocked. There's so much shit. It's unbelievable. Former British nation nation diplomatically by uniting our political development domestically and extending our influence beyond our borders we will be able to reinforce our position in world affairs and transform into one of the foremost european power the british empire what's the difference so administrative technology at least 10 is independent or tributary england is not a f nomad nation at peace, yes we are, have legitimacy of at least 100. One of the following must be true. All of the must be true is England, one of them. Okay, how about this one? Oh, but I can't select them yet, because that's shit. Okay, fair enough. Uh, What else is there to do? I, I kind of want the rebels to attack, but since I'm not that familiar with the combat or war in this game I'll have to wait with that what's this a herald they tell us the kingdom of Italy and the empire for years now imperial authority over the kingdom of Italy has been waning successive emperors have failed to impose their will on the Italian states as they become to act with total disregard for imperial laws and customs unless the wayward nations of Northern Italy are firmly reigned and soon Italy may slip out of imperial control forever. Okay, man. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Um, what's this? We have gained the trade dispute cases, Billy. They are, they are threatening our trade. Why? What have we done to France? Guys, what have we done to France? They try, they try to surrender again. Uh, France. What's this, bro? Look at look at our relations. Jesus, why hostile relation? Why are we hostile? Why? Why? Just why? Uh, covert actions, economy. Let's no. Nah, let's not try to. Imp yeah, let's let's try to improve relations with them. Fucking cucks. Uh, yeah. H twenty one claim strong. Strong PP. Uh, what's this? Improving relations with Orleans and the Papal State. The papal state. Uh, let's offer alliance. Ah yes, we we got an epic alliance now. Uh, apparently they like us. Okay, that's cool. Didn't ask, but yeah, that's nice. Oh, hold up! Too many diplomatic relations. Is that so bad? Each diplomatic relation over your limit will cost you one 
currently because one which one tyrone <laughs> big man tyrone uh i mean it's all right norfolk leicester you have unrest in the following provinces bro how do i okay wait which countries are under it hall where the fuck is hall okay No Northumberland. Okay. Uh hmm. I really don't know what I'm doing. Succession. What? Tver. The fuck is Tver? Uh let's England up here. Come on. Succession. Offer lines now. We want proclaim. Guarantee their independence. We will be called to war against any country who attacks them. That's fair enough, I guess. Uh, no. So what? What do we do then? Be like, nah man, fuck y'all. Who's our king actually? King? No, that's that's, that's not my king. Our king is King Henry the Sixth of Lancaster. Okay, it's kind of interesting. Also, if you think this game is boring, I'm sorry, man. I actually enjoy these games, even though I don't really understand what I'm doing half of the time. So, oh, we got, is this? No, that's Castile. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so, we actually gain nice money, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if that is actually any good, but, you know. What's this? Raise war taxes? Uh, not yet. So we need just just like 25 prestige or whatever it's called. And then I can finally uh, stabilize them. Claims fabricated. What? Well, what's fabricated? My king, those underhanded rogues in Scotland have the gal to claim Northumberland as their own. Though their claim is obviously spurious, it's still enough to justify war if they wish it. Yeah, well, that's cool and all, but I'm kind of afraid that they're a bit strong. So, i rather, like, improve relations with them, you know? So, how's France doing? Do they still hate me? Apparently they do. You know, stop it. Just stop. You know what, let's build a spy network there. You know, let's not do that actually. I don't want to get spotted. It, it might escalate, you know. Clergy condemns a philosopher as heretic. A prominent neutral neutral philosopher is forwarding new claims that contradict religious truths. The clergy demands that he be stopped and turned over for punishment. Either way, this will cause great turmoil in the realm. Wait, so if I don't support him it will cause great turmoil and if I don't support him, so the bruh? So, lose one stability. England gets increased narrow-minded until one, the first of February, uh, fourteen fifty-six, giving the following effects: uh, missionary strength plus one, technology cost, and the clergy estate gains ten loyalty. 
Lose one, oh, so we're fucked anyways. Okay. But one thing gives us plus, plus one and plus five. And one minus five. Hmm. This is really, I don't know, man. I feel like I should support the clergy. Since people in England at that time were like really religious from what I have heard but I don't know I think the the philosophers are so weird. my king our people are losing confidence in your government leading to a stability drop that's very epic my dude And I can't boost, because, you know, we have to wait. So that's a rip, but at least it's better than minus two, because yesterday I did on minus two, and I think I was kind of fucked there. You see, from Brabant. Ah, that's, that's nice. And the, um, uh, harsh treatment spent to reduce the uprising progress by 30. I don't want to be harsh on them. I actually want to just... What if I do boost stability? What happens then? Oh, I can't. It doesn't show. You know, I'll wait a bit. Rebels Bay Crony. Break. Cannot fully break a country unless they control at least one fortified province. When rebels manage to break the country, all of the active revolts will succeed and their demands will be enforced. Okay, that's interesting. They tell us about the event of the Neapolitan succession, where among the possible options they went with they went with we shall follow Elphins, Last Testament, as their choice of action. Okay. That's interesting. Uh what's this? Local nobles power grows. Through intrigue at court, skillful alliances, and plenty of opportunism, local nobleman Charles James Batham has built up a strong power base in Oxford. If we don't deal with him now, he may became he may became a pretender to the throne. Though reducing his power will prove difficult, given his influence and the large force of retainers that he maintains as part of his own private army. So well, so if we ignore him, we lose 10 prestige. Oxford gets powerful noble until 28th of December 1946, giving the following effects. Local tax modifier, minus 50. Bruh, local manpower modifier. Gain 20, plus 20, local autonomy in Oxford. The nobility estate gains 10 loyalty. Outwit him at court. Gains 5 prestige. Lose one stability. Mm. Order is arrest. Gain five prestige. Seventeen pretender regiments rise up in revolt in Oxford. The nobility estate loses ten loyalty, currently for the six. So here we lose one stability. Here if we ignore him, we lose ten prestige. So we're f I don't know. But then you have the local tax modifier. If we order his arrest. I'm a... I don't know. I think he might be a danger, so it might be a bad choice. What's this? These rebels are loyal followers of Charles Bethlehem, who styles themselves Charles I. Bethlehem and lays claim to the English throne. In Oxford. Okay then. But that's an army of 10k. So, mm, this is going to be a hard one. What's this? The, the surrender of Maine. In exchange for accepting the Treaty of Tours in 1444, the country of Maine was promised to France. In practice, however, this still has not come to pass. The English 
No English governor wants to be remembered as the one to surrender Maine and in London, prominent nobles are claiming that our negotiator Willem de la Pole had no mandate to make this concession in the first place. French emissaries have repeatedly tried to remind us of this ever since the signing and Charles VII has now finally taken matters in his own hands and shown up at the walls of Le Mans, Le Mans demanding the city to surrender. Unless we surrender Maine to the French, we are very likely looking at a hasty resumption of hostilities. Uh, I think we should... This. The, I don't want the war. Oof. In exchange for accepting the treaty, most promised France and practice over this has taken so okay and finally it's now in our hands. Okay, cool man. What's this? Although compromising a vast area, England is politically a rather a shattered nation. Henry the sixth the sixth Fuck, I can't pronounce. Power over the empire has been severely limited by various local rulers, and he is faced with increasing difficulty administering the large empire. The desperate mix of culture, groups with different values and beliefs, has resulted in conflicts erupting over the most insignificant matters. Increased centralization offers. Lose 73 ducats. Leave it as it is. I mean, I'll just do that. It costs, it costs a sum, but you know. Do I care, man? No, man, I don't care. English pretender rebels occupied Oxford. My king. Okay, man. Okay, man. You know what? Let's let's march for Rome. Mm, just saying bullshit. The Papal State, my king, has accumulated the ruler of province. Okay, man. Oh, but we do be kind of dying, though. Oh, we, we won. Yeah, man, yeah, man, we won. So how is this health? So we're actually, we're gaming man, we're gaming. So, this was quickly over. <laughs> there we go. Your units have suffered casualties. Wow, bro, I didn't know man. Thank you for telling me, I didn't know. Bro, minus seven. That's a big ass rip. Let's get some more Con Conquest again, France. Why? Stability. <laughs> Harsh treatment. Uh, let's give them uh, a harsh treatment. <laughs> oh no, man, I'm just doing shit. I'm just doing what's best for England, man. <laughs> Bro, seven. How do I see? Because you have this. I can just see. Crown Ant or some shit? I don't know how you sell it. You can sell it something. It's like what, 500 points or some shit? How do I see that? Oh, here, here it is. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. So, now that this rebellion is over, uh, let's see.
army maintenance. Uh, reinforcements. What reinforcements? We don't need reinforcements. You know, let's just let's just put in this. Oh, they actually accept that. Okay, cool. Cool. Defender of the faith. We can become the defender. Uh, let's not become that yet. Not really feeling like that. Castle. We already have like four castles. Why would we need that? Uh, succession. Mm. Ask for military access. No. No, not yet, not yet. Provincial unrest. Yeah, no shit. Handle them. Uh, I mean, we can handle them. Accept demands. Mm. We lose... Uh, lose 100 papal influence. I don't want that. Because we have like 6.4, so we don't have much. They have... 12. I'd rather keep our influence, to be honest. What's this? Florin? Florence? Is it like France? Or am I being retarded? Uh, I don't know. Don't really care. I probably made a lot of bad decisions in here, but doesn't matter. Uh, what else shall we do? I know you can do more, but I just oh, what's this? Hmm, <laughs> England is politic. Okay, what's this? No, we'll just pay for it. Because at the moment, you know, gotta keep it. Whoa. I didn't know, man. Moldavia. They went with seek support from Hungary as their choice of action. Okay. So London is the, I guess the capital. Obviously, sorry. <laughs> I think we discovered the map some more, but not really feeling like it. Novo go up. My king province declared war upon their new enemy, Brittany. They cite conquest as their case of belly. Okay. What's this? Looming this ass. Like a request for military access from Castile. Yeah, sure, man. Looming this ass. Oh, what's this? The Peasants' War. Um. Bro, I think we're gonna do just fine against peasants. Just saying. Uh, see how Scotland still thinks we're cocks. I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, they do. You know what? I'm having fun actually. So, you know what? Uh, I don't think I'll make a series out of this. But I'll definitely keep this safe for like more videos when I feel like making a video. So, um, I think I've played enough in this video, and uh, just to give you all a taste, obviously, can't show you everything, 
because I don't know everything about this game. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Maybe, just maybe, I'll live stream tonight. And I'll do a poll in my community posts. How about that?